her mind was filled with doubt because of what they, what, what they know that the Lord gives. But what was the doubt in their mind? The, what they asked for the request. The Lord says, so shall it be. But she's saying, after everything, she's saying, my Lord, there's a doubt in my mind. In fact, there was that doubt because I'm wondering whether you will really grant a son like yourself does. That was the doubt. But she also says, Kaha jo prabhu pa wana puni sui. He says, my Lord, I know that your words cannot fail. I know that your words cannot fail. So whatever you say is true. So that eradicates my doubt. I had that doubt that perhaps it was a gift too difficult to ask for. But knowing that you have given your word, we trust that you do not go against. You will not renege. Your word stands most predominant. And as such, whatever you say cannot be, can go to fail. She says, Jo nija bhagata nata tabak ahai, jo sukapawahi jo gati lahai. Listen what she is asking for. He says, My Lord, the bliss that is enjoyed by your devotees, all devotees of the Lord enjoy a special kind of bliss, a kind of ecstasy, a kind of joy, a kind of privilege that other people don't enjoy. Because you take care of your devotees. My Lord, that kind of bliss that your top devotees enjoy, I want to have that. That bliss. She asks for house. She asks for land. She asks for money. She asks for cars. What she asks for? The bliss of devotion. Bhakti. He says, my Lord, the liberation that they attain. It is said that the four fruits of life a dharm, earth, karma, and moksha. Moksha is liberation. Dharma is religious principles. Earth is wealth. Calm is the pleasures of the senses. He says, my Lord, everybody wants liberation. Whatever you do, you do it to attain liberation. That's the final of the four foods. My Lord, that is what I want. Your devotees want that. This is what I'm asking for, liberation. Freedom from the attachment of this world. And she continues this in the next show of our Soi gati, soi gati, soi nejacharana sne. Sne is love. He's saying here, my Lord, grant me your mercy, O Lord, that this very same bliss and liberation that your great devotees enjoy, grant that to me. That bliss, that liberation. Give me the same faith, the same devotion to your feet. Soi nejacharana sneha. Chadana Sneha means that special love for your lotus feet, my Lord. You know, when we pray to the Lord, we surrender to His feet. We don't surrender to His head or to His shoulders or to His waist. We fall flat on His feet. The feet is the lowest extremity of the Lord, but it is filled with a reservoir of devotion, of bhakti, of bliss, of joy, of ecstasy. When Hanuman lies at the feet of the Lord, he doesn't want to get up. Because that energy is so profound, that ecstasy and that joy is something that you can't explain. And when Hanuman feels that bliss, he doesn't want to get up. The Lord has to pick him up. 
he would remain there all the time. Because emanating from the feet of the Lord, the lotus feet of the Lord, is a power, an energy that is so profound, it is indescribable. So he said, my Lord, let me have that kind of devotion to your feet. You see what the great devotees ask for? When we pray, we ask, Lord, I want to win the lottery. I want this, I want that, I want the other. We only want the things of the world. But when you look at it, everything that you, if you get all the things of the world, you still leave it here. You don't take it with you. Somebody else enjoys it. So ask, if you are asking, ask for something that will sustain you in the hereafter. The things of the world will come and it will go. It will be yours today, mine tomorrow, and somebody else's the next day. But it will never stay with you. You cannot take it. So my Lord, I want that ecstasy of devotion. I want that bliss of bhakti. I want that kind of liberation, my Lord. I want to be sustained by the power of your lotus feet. He says, Soi mi beta soi rahani prabhu hama hi kripa kari dehu. He says, my Lord, I want the same wisdom and the same mode of living. As I have lived on this earth, I can see the blessedness of it. I can see the fruits of the way I lived. I want to live like that. I want to continue to be like that. I don't want to have the things of the world that I would run after. I want to run after a lotus feet. That's what I want. So I want that same mode of living as you have given me. As me and the king have lived, please give us back that kind of living. To see that sense of sin, to abide. What does the Lord say when she asks for that request? To see that says us in some way.
गुर रच रच बच रचना कृपा सिंधु बोले मिल बचना तुसी दास सही है तुसी दास स्पेलिंग है साधुस ऑन द स्पेलिंग शेड ऑफ द बाइनियन ट्री दे आर ऑल सीटेड देयर एंड लिसन विद रैप्ट अटेंशन टू एवरी वर्ड एमनेटिंग फ्रॉम द लिप्स ऑफ संतोष दास इन द सेम वे कागो सुंद जी इज नारेटिंग द सेम कथा टू गुरु जी महाराज यज्ञबक also reciting to bhagwan and lord shankara is giving out this kata to mother parvati in new year so they are saying here suni mid gur ruchir bacha rachana kripa sind bole mid bachana hearing this modest appeal of the devi of sakrupa tulsidas says that Her speech was profound, was charming. Mitu bani, mitu bachan means soft, winning, beautiful words. He says, "Kripa sindu." Kripa sindu means the ocean of grace. By Lord, you are the ocean of grace. You are the giver of all happiness, my Lord. And replied, "Jo kachu ruchi tum hare man mahi." The Lord replies. In response, he says, "Jo kachu ruchi tu bade manamahi, mai so din has sabasan sayanahi." He says, "Whatever your heart desires, Satupa," he says, "I give that to you." Whatever is your heart's desire, and what was the desire for heart? To have that pure bhakti, that devotion, that liberation, that love for the lotus feet of the Lord. All that you have asked. He say sunshine I sunshine mean doubt have no doubt in your mind whatever you have asked for all is for you so he gifted her everything nothing like house and land that we ask for so why is this this is them here to tell us something the message is not for them you know the message is for us what do we ask for And you know something? Their devotion was so strong, so powerful that the Lord came to them. They didn't have to go to the Lord. And when your bhakti is like that, when one's devotion is like that, you bring the Lord to you. He comes of his own volition. You don't have to call him. You see, Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahesh, the three of them are asking. O oh Manu, O oh Satupa, we are deeply pleased. Please ask for your boon. They were not awakened. They were not asking. And then that voice of Vasudev thundered from the heaven. And even though it was a deep and profound sound to their ears, it was soft and winning. And their bodies, which was skeletal, became full as normal when they now went there. and they bowed in reverence to that voice because they had asked my lord the end of our devotion is to see with these eyes your lotus form and true to the request the lord manifested himself in their presence they fell flat on his lotus feet in the presence of the divine and that is the power of bhakti A person who had that kind of bhakti was Sri. Yet Sri Ram came to her. Whenever your devotions are like that, the Lord comes to you. So He's saying, "Whatever your heart desire, O lady, my so dear has sub sanctioned. I have granted. Doubt not. Have no doubt in your mind." So in short, by two things. Thank you.